Hello, my dear student. This is Kamrul Hassan, your English teacher. Today, I would like to discuss with you about the kinds of graph and chart. And this class is selected for the students of class 9, 10, and and after 9 and 10, of course, they will be uh, able to sit for the SSC exam. So this class is designed for the students of, of SSC candidates also. So let's. Uh, I would like to welcome you all to uh, view my class through YouTube or any other social media or print media or electronic media. So even I would like to welcome my honorable guardians, my colleagues, who will find this video in any other uh, channels. Look, uh, here is the today's topics, the kinds of graph and chart. Okay, let's go to our main topic. So here is the objectives. So what will be the objectives about our uh, today's class? So to after finishing the class, I think you will be able to know the kinds of graph and chart to, you will be able to identify the different graphs and charts. Even you will also be able to describe the graph in your own way. As the first kind of uh, graph is called line graph. Look, here are a few lines, and this line is not straight. This line in uh, 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 in a curved way, and there are sinuous lines like snake. As snakes goes, as snakes carved and goes straight in, in this way. And here are the descriptions. Look, uh, uh, and this uh, uh, this description is given for you so that you can easily understand what is the line graph about. And here are another kinds. And this graph is called pie chart. Look. This is a pie like biscuit, as we as we say. So, and this pie pie chart is used to describe different types of information. Look, uh, the uses of different types of phones. So, this pie chart is described here uh, uh, by the use of different types of uh, phones. That means uh, cell phones. So here is another kind, mosaic or macro charts. Look, and basically these charts is used for A's and operating system share uh, smartphones and uh, uh, basic line graph and pie chart. Another one is called population pyramids. Look, uh, generally, when you want to describe the different uh, uh, people in, in uh, that means according to their gender, according to their ages, according to their uh, professions. So we can categorize the people in a pyramid way. So that's why this is called uh, pyramid chart or pyramid graph. So, and uh, that's why the name name of this chart is called pyramid chart or population pyramid. Here, uh, this graph is uh, this the picture is about the population pyramid. Look. This is the description of population pyramids. For your kind information, I would like to tell you that uh, this information, that means uh, uh, this information will be given in our description box that you will find in your YouTube channel, in our YouTube channel, in our, in, in our school's YouTube channel. In, a, in my description box, I will, um, I will uh, give, a, give you a link so that you can easily find all the things, all the topics, even as a lecture sheet. Okay, next, uh, function plots. Look, this is also one type of line graph you can say, but the, uh, its function is not same like line graph. Its function is different. It is also used some uh, to describe our mathematical terms. So that's why, uh, to if you want to describe uh, generally mathematician, engineers, or or some other people who are engaged in show uh, in engineering or 
or, or, or work with mathematics. Mathematics they generally use this type of graphs. Look, this is multi-level pie chart. That means multi in multi-level pie chart, we usually see this type of multi-level multi pie chart when our country, that means when our, when our uh, finance minister described, uh, uh, that means declared the this declared the budget of our country, then we see this type of this type of uh, pie chart in our in in our uh, print media like newspaper and something else. So this pie chart used to describe uh, describe the statistics of some information in a correct way, in a proper way. So look, uh, there is also a description for you. Hierarchy pie chart. The hierarchy pie chart is used also to describe some um, information like a typical, uh, like a company, uh, and that that means uh, the labels of a company, that the employers of the uh, and the designation according to the according to the designation title. Uh, this uh, this graph is used for uh, to show the show the uh, differences so the differences activities and their duties so we use hierarchy ch chart here another chart is called bar graphs or and besides uh, there is another graph so called histogram both bar graphs and histograms are not similar they are in different but we use them to describe the age of our population the use of uh, uh, that means use of uh, mobile phones uh, according to the ages of the people, according to the year of our, according to the years, according to different years, we use uh, this type of graphs. I hope you understand uh, these bar graphs or history graphs. Look, this, uh, the name of the chart is called flow chart. And flow chart is another type of chart. And really, if we want to describe a uh, long information, long uh, uh, that means a long story in a short way then we use this type of uh, flow chart this type of chart and that's and this is called flow chart that means it the information flows uh, down according to the or flows gradually according to the information uh, that means according to the short information but this information uh, is that means you can summarize the information through flow chart Look, here is another uh, graph for you. This is called pictographs. Look, these pictographs means uh, graphs will be described through pictures. So that's why this is called pictographs. And this, it has another name. It is called pictogram also. Through images, symbols. Uh, that, that means the graphs that we you that we describe uh, through images or symbols is called uh, pictographs. When you want to illustrate our data or information, we use this type of graph. So I hope that you have understood. Look, here is another uh, pie chart. The name of the pie chart is called multi pie chart. Look, this is multi pie chart. In one pie chart, we described one information in another pie chart we describe another type of information and then we just uh, put together and show our differences so this is called tree diagram tree diagram actually is used to uh, describe the family background of our that means uh, if we want to describe our family background our forefathers that means our our uh, the introduction identity of our forefathers. Then we can uh, use this uh, uh, this diagram, this graph. So that's why this is look uh, the uh, the graph is described through branches. That means as a tree has a lot of branches, so in the same way, this graph is also has. That means this graph also. Uh, 
uh, um, this, that means this is also described in uh, in a different way showing some branches showing some um, part like uh, uh, that means like the part of trees so i hope that uh, that's why this is called this uh, graph is called uh, tree diagram or tree uh, tree chart however we have discussed a lot about the kinds of drugs uh, about the kinds of graphs i think you have enjoyed the class and i would like to give you a work to do at your home so uh, so that you can review the classes again and again and uh, by reviewing the class you can uh, enrich your knowledge you can uh, uh, learn about the kinds of graphs in a proper way so the uh, 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 let's see what is our homework write the names of graphs we have discussed today so here just you can do this homework uh, uh, that means in our comments box now when we will put this or when we will that means upload this video in our uh, um, uh, YouTube channel then in our comments box you can just uh, firstly you can write your names and class and then just you can write your write the names of graphs in, your, in our comment box so then we can easily understand who have watched this video and uh, uh, who have learned that means uh, who have who are benefited with the uh, video and with our uh, online class so i think you will uh, uh, that means you will be uh, connected with us with our online class and uh, so no more today see you allah face